Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I have a new unboxing for you guys. The person that I'm going to assemble and unbox today is Guts from the Berserk anime. I actually did an unboxing on this statue before but with a normal version with a different paint job and everything but the statue that I'm going to unbox uh, Guts today is a bloody nightmare version where the statue will have tons of blood on it if you guys read or watch the anime from Berserk series, you guys probably noticed that it is a very bloody anime. Um, all the manga drawings is very bloody and even the anime has tons of blood on it. So uh, I cannot wait to show you guys this statue that has lots of blood on it. And I'm going to do a comparison on the normal version that I did an unbox before. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the box so you can see how different it is um, compared to the first version, the normal version I mean. So here's the smaller box, you guys can see it says Ultimate Premium Blaster Line, Guts, the Black Swordman, but on this uh, version it does say Bloody Nightmare. That's um, how you can tell the difference from the box. But other than that, it's just pretty much the same box all around. And same thing on the bigger one. This is uh, Bloody Nightmare down here. And yeah, pretty much the same box. And it does come with an instruction manual on how to assemble this statue. Here's the uh, instruction manual for the normal version. Now, because I did an unboxing on this statue before, who needs an instruction manual, right? Actually, I do because my memory is pretty shit for on remembering how to assemble this statue. So I do need an instruction manual. Anyways, let's get right to the unboxing. I'm gonna bring the normal guts. I'm gonna set him right here so you guys can see, kind of see like comparison on uh, the bloody normal version and everything. But I will talk about this statue after that and give you guys more in depth some closer look on this statue so you guys can compare so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit peace out everybody
guys, I'm back. So here is an unboxing of Guts from Berserk, uh, made by Prime One Studio, and this is a very bloody nightmare version. So bloody. Um, and now I'm gonna bring the uh, this normal version Guts right here. I'm gonna use my muscles to bring him on this table so I can compare to you guys to see how he looks. So bear with me in the process and to see how me I am struggling to bring this bad boy up here so give me one second okay all right here we go must use my muscles so heavy very heavy I'm getting red oh okay wait gotta fit this a tape here so it doesn't damage I gotta move this bloody one a little bit over just a wee bit <sighs> all right guys mission accomplished I finally brought these two amazing statue next to each other so I can do a comparison so let me say one thing first wow this bloody version is absolutely stunning oh my god if you put these two next to each other, this one has clearly has a different with all the blood splatting out, all the details. Oh my god. So let's start with the head of skull first. This bloody version only comes with two heads. So this is the exclusive head that you can only you guys also found in the normal version. Um, exclusive. But uh, the reason I didn't have this face, the smiling laughing face right here because this is a normal version, uh, it's not an exclusive version, so yeah. And the second head that comes with the uh, Bloody Nightmare version, it's just this uh, simply smiling face, exactly like this head right here, but with more blood on the side. So yeah, this statue only comes with two heads, the Nightmare version, Bloody Nightmare version. Comes with two heads, the exclusive head and the uh, smiling face head right here there you go and but it, this exclusive ver exclusive version doesn't come with this serious face um, th that's for the uh, normal version only so here's the serious face right here anyways the second point that's different is like I say this bloody nightmare version doesn't come with puck um, there's no puck on the base as you guys can see right here that's puck right here that's puck right here but this one doesn't but I have a solution for that, so since this statue has three pucks total, three goddamn pucks total, two on in the front and one in the back right here. So now I'm going to replace this cute little puck to this one. There we go. So, yep. So now I'm gonna put this one right here. And there you have it. This statue has a puck right now. Hell yeah. So now I'm gonna give you guys some closer look. Um, so I can do a comparison onto the base first. I'm going up to the body of guts and everything. Alright guys, first thing first, this is the normal version. He's the brand of sacrifice and he's the skeleton puck himself and some blood and gore right here so now on to the uh, bloody nightmare version as you guys can see so much blood it goes on the skull the helmets and uh, this little sword right here also has blood on it so here you guys have it this is also the uh, where puck sit but it's just cover like this here's another skull that has blood on it the only thing that doesn't have blood is this beast of darkness right, right here he doesn't have blood on it but yeah um, he's supposed to be in the shadow so he there's no blood splatter on him so here's a beast of darkness same goes with right here it's the same thing so now onto the uh, apostle head 
as you guys can see no blood version well actually it does have blood but it's not actually extreme um, just a sword went right through the head with the little blood spread out right here so yeah and here's the bloody version which has blood everywhere on the horn his uh, teeth his mouth that you guys can see right here so shiny I love it this looks exactly like real blood because of how shiny it is look at this oh my goodness wow so amazing so much blood I love it so now let me get behind the statue so right now I am behind a statue he's the tree no more looking tree he's on a no more statue and he's this little guy right here Hostile head and now onto the bloody version this tree right here it's like he's, he's crying blood down here he's some more blood splatting out all the way and this little guy also doesn't have blood on him so look at that so much blood right here so yeah on behind it doesn't have as much blood as the front because here you go here's the bloody cape check that out it looks so real and everything it's not actually like paint splatting like spray paint or anything it doesn't look like that it's just actually really good quality paint that goes all around the cape the normal version no much not I don't think it has any blood yet yeah, the normal version doesn't have blood so yeah that's behind the statue uh, Guts body is his body right here he has a little bit of blood right here the sword also has it um, yeah here you go he's the clean face and the arm doesn't have blood so now on to the bloody version check that out God, look at this. It's actually like looks so amazing. Good. Look at this arm, man. It's like his damaged arm and everything. The handles and the uh, grip. You can see how intense he gripped that sword. And here's the face. Lots of blood on his right side, on his left hand right here, and he's the cape, very bloody. Look at that. So onto the clean version right here, there you guys go. One more time. Check out his face. So there you guys have it. Those are the close-up look on Guts himself. So there you guys have it. Um, he's the uh, under the sword for this statue, the bloody nightmare version. This sword also has lots of blood on it compared to the normal sword. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys that. Some people ask me why I got two versions. Um, despite of being having one already, the normal version usually is enough for a same statue. But two versions for a same statue? Well, let me explain that because um, first, because I have the normal version, I'm going to say a few things why I got the nightmare version. So first thing is so that I can unbox for you guys to see a comparison between these two statues. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that 
Um, I can display them in two different poses. You guys can see on the normal version with his sword down and on the bloody nightmare version I can have him uh, with his sword on his shoulder. And the third reason is that um, because I miss out on the exclusive head for a normal version. Um, so that's why I got this bloody nightmare version so that I can have the exclusive head. As you can see him laughing kind of smiling right here because I love this exclusive head. I think this um, laughing head right here fit perfectly with the bloody nightmare version than the normal version. I'm, I can't switch them right here so let's see. So yeah pretty much. So the fourth reason that I got this bloody nightmare version is um, so that I can dress up well, not stress up, but so I can mix and match, you know, like I have this bloody sword, I can put him right here. This bloody face, I put him right here, or the cape, or whatever. It'll be cool to mix and match sometime. So that's one of the reasons, I guess. And the fifth reason is that it's Berserk. I mean, Berserk anime is one of the most bloody anime and manga of all time. If you guys read, like I say, read the manga or watch the anime, you can see a tons of blood on it. So it is, makes sense to have a very bloody gut in my collection. Because, you know, simply, it's a bloody anime. So you gotta have lots of blood on a statue. So that's one of the reasons also. So this bloody nightmare version only has 150 pieces made in the entire world. So it's pretty exclusive to get this version. Um, I have number 103 out of 150 pieces compared to this uh, guts right here the normal version has like what 1500 pieces total it's pretty exclusive only 150 pieces made and after all it's prime one prime one quality always is top notch um, even on the repaint version you guys can see that I give you guys some uh, close-up look on the statue of the blood the gore, the splatter, looks like real blood that are on the statue. It's not just some spray paint or cheap paint that were dumping all over the statue. No, this is actually really good and shiny. Looks like real blood, like I said. Um, good quality paint on this uh, bloody nightmare version. So I'm so happy that I got him. So yeah, simply because you know, it's guts. It's goddamn bloody guts, man. I gotta have him. This statue doesn't come with uh, pucks himself, but like I say, I have three pucks all over this statue, so I'm probably gonna replace one puck. This puck right here, over here, if I feel like it. This is a very bloody version. It's not for a typical normal collector, because if you have kids in your house or you have wives. You have your girlfriends. I believe that 90% of them will not approve this very bloody statue because we think it's art. To them, they think it's very violent. Um, well, I, I kind of agree with them, but at the same time, I agree with myself more. So of course I have to get him. But yeah, let's say the bloody arms, the handles, the hilt. The fabric, the postal head, the ground, everything on this statue is very amazing, good quality paint, blood paint job that on the uh, statue. It doesn't look cheap, it looks absolutely stunning and I am so glad that I have him to display next to the normal version. So yeah, um, thank you everybody for watching this long ass in-depth review, comparison, uh, etc. on this statue and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comment below which version you guys like better, the bloody nightmare version or the normal version as you guys can see on my right or yeah the bloody on my left. So let me know in the comment section below and if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up, like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more unboxing, more review. And I will bring you guys every single statue that I order, so I unbox them, compare them, whatever. 
And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye.